Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and in this final episode of three, three parts I'm going to be talking again about exactly what is a differential in calculus. So you can watch part one and part two and then uh, come back to this video so that you can know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now, um, uh, in addition, it might also be, a, it would be a good idea to watch this video here. It's called, A Number is the Measure of a Magnitude, okay? And of course, if you're a professor, you'll need to watch this one too, which is Number Concept for Morons. Now, um, so, so let's, let's talk about why there has been so much confusion in mainstream mathematics. So what does dy dx mean? Well, really it's a ratio of two numbers. dy and dx are actual numbers. They're not uh, uh, ethereal, vague concepts that tend to some special size when some value goes to zero. That That's just all nonsense. Simply, they're actually just the rise and the run of a straight line, which happens to be a tangent line. That's all that dy and dx are. Now, does this mean dy divided by dx? Actually, it doesn't because, well, it can be treated that way, but the, there's no division pending. Say, for example, if you write down a half and you write down dy dx is equal to a half, yes? Now, <clears throat> dy is equal to 1 and dx is equal to 2, but it can also equal to 2 and dx can equal to 4, right? Because any of these here result in the same abstract number. Now remember, in the derivation of numbers, uh, we first start off with a unit and then it's easy to derive the natural numbers, 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 units. But what happens if you want to uh, find a part of this here? Well, geometrically, you can actually divide this section into a half. Okay, You can do it geometrically into any number of equal parts, in fact. There's nothing stopping you from doing that geometrically. It's possible. But in algebra, you can't do that. So you need a way of uh, denoting the value which is a half. Okay, and the way you denote it is as follows. You say, well, it's one of two equal parts of the standard unit. Okay, so when you write down P over Q or dy over dx, what it means is this. Q is the number of equal divisions of the standard unit. Okay, so Q means how many equal parts in the unit. That's all it means. So the same here. Dx means how many equal parts of the unit. And P means how many of those parts we are talking about. Okay, so how, ma how many are we considering? So if you say 3 quarters is equal to dy dx, then dx means that the unit has been divided into 4 equal parts or or 6 over 8, or 8 equal parts, in which case we take 6 to enumerate the number, right? So this here is the size we're thinking about. It's the actual size, right? Depending on the unit. Now, if the unit is different, then these two values would not be equal, okay? So obviously we're talking about the same unit. But in here, we're measuring using four equal parts and in here eight equal parts but it doesn't matter because the idea of the number is the same okay this so when we write down p q or dy dx we're simply denoting a number that's all it means so dy dx is a number and fractions all numbers are fractions there is no exception right um there is no number which is not a fraction. So you, you might say, well, what about pi? Well, pi isn't a number. Pi is a ratio of magnitudes. 
it's a ratio of the circumference length to the diameter okay and the diameter or the circumference circumference might be measurable but never both of them measurable at the same time which means that pi is always a ratio of magnitudes and nothing else okay and we can approximate its measure but it doesn't have a measure therefore there is no number pi okay pi is a symbol for a magnitude not a number there is no number pi same thing with root 2 it's not a number it's a symbol for a magnitude this magnitude when you have a right angle triangle in which these are equal and that is the symptom of square root 2 it doesn't matter how you extend these sides of the right angle isosceles triangle this will always be a symptom of square root 2 <clears throat> so mainstream academics have never understood these facts and that's why there has been so much confusion even in calculus and what dy dx means well just to summarize dy and dx are called finite differences um, simply because f of x plus h minus f of x is a difference of two y ordinates okay and and the bottom value is a difference of the abscissa or the x coordinates all right which ends up in h and the top part stays the same so they're both finite differences or differentials a finite difference is exactly what is a differential okay it's nothing more than that so i could write dy dx is equal to a half in many ways i could write this okay i could write this as 9 minus 8 which will give me one at the bottom here i can write this as 23 minus 21 <clears throat> doesn't matter because that will give me 1 over 2 right these are finite differences or differentials and a ratio of differentials is called the derivative all right so this is all that you need to know about differentials and derivatives and so i hope these uh, three videos will help you to understand a lot more about what calculus is about and mathematics in general and how important it is to know the theory of fractions uh, all numbers of fractions even one two three and four all these numbers are fractions there is no number that is not a fraction how is this a fraction well it's this number isn't it and two is this number and three is this number okay and it's a comparison right so measure uh, starts with comparison we compare this length to the standard length which is chosen as the unit and so we call it one and in this case we call it two and in this case we call it three right and if we didn't have numbers and we just had a unit like that we'd say okay we'd write a unit like that and we'd write two like this right and so on but we we eventually even stop writing the denominator in the case of whole numbers like this but it's implied it's implied that there's a one there right that's what a number is a number is the measure of a magnitude or size a number describes a number describes the measure of a size so now you know how to define number and differential and derivative and i hope you've enjoyed this last part of uh, exactly what does it mean to be a fraction uh, uh, differentials in fact the, the actual title is this um, exactly what is a differential very well so until next time this is the new calculus channel my name is john gabriel goodbye